Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a review of a campground, which is uh, an urban campground. As you see, we have a union bank right there. Uh, it's in LA actually, to be more concrete, it's uh, in Long Beach. Uh, it's called Golden Shore RV Campground and it's located uh, right by Marina. So you can see it at night. Uh, very close to uh, Queen Mary ship and uh, it's actually on the road so you can see the vehicles passing but it's not that bad it's not bothering us much it's nice there are palm trees and other trees here beautiful landscaping is done here sweet for an urban campground nice aloe Aloe vera, blooming, pretty. The campsites are not too big, but they're not too tight as well, uh, especially for an urban campground. Uh, and what I have to say, it's very neat. This is a uh, campsite just prepared for new people. See, it's all beautifully prepared, not a dust, not a leaf not anything very very neat that's uh, what they do there's the heated pool my daughter said that the water is really warm and nice a lot of uh, chairs to rest and the spa uh, it's really warm and it's hot but not no children allowed but i see many adults here especially in the evening hanging out Having nice time. Here's a nice grassy barbecue area. Oh, you can have even a big fire pit here. I'm sitting on the bench in the previous pool maybe. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, there are also picnic tables with grills you can use over here. It's nice. Uh, this is the laundry room. Are quite good and spacious. There are one, two, three, four, five machines and five dryers. Uh, the machines are really cheap. That's very surprising in a fancy place like this. It's only a dollar. They're not too big, but it's still a very good price. And the dryers are also a dollar or two of them are even 50 cents. If you have a little smaller uh, load, I think. So there are also baskets, which is very handy. Normally there are no baskets in the campgrounds somehow, from my own experience. So I really like the laundry room. Uh, it works until 10 p.m. and there's even an ironing board. There we can see the guys working. They're always up to something, always cleaning something or doing, cutting the uh, plants. And they're all like polite, well-dressed, white shirts, very like good feeling. Let's go into the um, bathhouse. Everything is coated. <clears throat> we do not actually use them in this campground, but I see the cleaning um, trolley and cleaning every day here so yes they are perfectly clean as I expected three toilets and uh, convenient showers with um, changing room and everything is really very clean I have to admit I like it including the curtains Everything sparkling. Uh, okay, what else important to mention? Uh, they have a little store, convenience store with some necessities. Uh, the office works long hours. I don't remember now exactly. I think seven or eight uh, is closing time. Uh, there's, there are always people inside, they're always helpful, there are always people around property, as I mentioned. Um, 
they do allow you to receive uh, packages as long as you're uh, in the campground. They would not hold you them before you arrive or after you leave. Uh, but we've been receiving many packages and it works just fine. Cell phone is fine, no problems here. Uh, cell signal, I mean. Uh, the trash bins are closed, gated. There are two of them in the campground. Uh, everything is clean and neat. There's also recyclables bins inside. All the gates are locked. So you have to know the code to go in, which is a good thing. You feel really safe here. You always see people here. Um, what else? Also, the campground feels nice, clean, and not, not shabby. They do not allow um, permanent residents here. So they're written in the rules very uh, um, clearly that you can't uh, make clutter in your campsite you can't like put any buildings tents or other uh, do-it-yourself sheds here everything has to be nice and clean see they have flowers here and uh, they do not allow you stay very long uh, we asked we wanted to spend the whole season and uh, all they gave us uh, was only this is our um, rig. They only gave us um, 10 weeks uh, after knowing that our rig is not too old though. So they have a quite good policy about this, I guess. I mean, they do allow older rigs here, but if you want to stay for longer than a short stay, then your rig doesn't have to be old enough and um, uh, you can't make a mess on your site. Some of the sites, yeah, I guess you can call them waterfront. Uh, you have some water view. Focus here, and you can see marina and docks, the cranes here. You can hear the ships. So it's kind of romantic here. There is the metro station, blue line, about 15 minutes walk. And there are also buses which uh, stop quite close from here. Uh, there's a free shuttle, which is a Long Beach's shuttle, which is, uh, transports you through the main attractions like the downtown area. And uh, its stop is about five minutes walk from here. And there are also uh, paid $125 paid shuttles, buses, which would um, uh, bring you to other places of the town. So it's a very convenient place to be. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you'll find it helpful. Uh, the rate I didn't mention is uh, $390 weekly is what we pay. Uh, it's with tax. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye!